Hello everyone, this is Annette Stanton. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I just want to talk about um, your full potential and thriving into uh, being your full potential and living your full potential, whether it's in your personal life, your professional life. A lot of the things that get in the way is self-doubt, fear, uh, negative, negative thought patterns and old belief systems can get in the way of um, you living your full potential. And this is something that I find a lot of my clients come to me for. So, you know, I just thought I'd come and uh, share one of the biggest tips when it comes to living your full potential and where it actually starts and ends is with the three areas of self-care, number one, uh, which moves into the inner self-talk and also self-love. So all those are very, very similar. Ultimately, it's, it's how do you become your own best friend in each moment and how do you then tap into you know what what is right for you being able to have your voice be expressed in whatever area that is important but listening into that so living your full potential is not something that you go after you chase after a lot of people set goals and then they chase after that and yet there, there can be some form of disconnection from within and the disconnection means you know I'll be happy when I'll be happy when I achieve this goal I'll be happy when I create this perfect relationship I'll be happy when I make more money I'll be happy when I um, have you know on my perfect career path whatever the case might be that you notice so um, I've just been working with a client this morning on this very same subject and um, we're working on what's called the energizing habits and really noticing what are the areas that you do naturally that do bring you energy and they're the things that really uh, resonate with you the actions that you might take that you notice bring you joy but you not, might not be consciously uh, feeling the joy from inside out so some of the things like that is um, moving the body in the ways that you enjoy you know we can call it exercise but I prefer to create that mantra I move my body in ways that I enjoy um, you know like walking on the beach and things like that and feeling the feelings of what that truly feels like from inside out Instead of just being a human doing and doing the task, like a tick list, done that, now I've got to get off to the next thing, then if you're continually getting on to the next thing without feeling the feelings of what it is you're doing right now, through that self-love, self-care, self-consciousness, self-awareness, self-talk, all those sorts of things, being really conscious in that moment of self-awareness, then what you'll do is if you, if you don't let those feelings in, then you'll be chasing after a goal thinking that I'm going to feel that I'm going to feel successful I'm going to feel happy I'm going to feel fulfilled when I achieve that and it doesn't work that way so I want to leave you today with you know identifying start to identify the areas in your life that really bring you joy do more of those create 10 energizing weekly habits that support you they can be as simple as getting you know seven to eight hours of sleep you know each night um, taking vitamins that support you uh, telling your loved ones how much you love them, you know, throughout the day, throughout the week, um, you know, moving the body in ways that you enjoy, just, you know, meditation, journal writing, anything that has you be really connected with yourself and be fully present as well in the moment will, will help you on the path of really living your full potential. So again, it's from inside out, self-care, self-love and the self-talk which creates a supportive mindset along the way as well. So enjoy becoming your own best friend. It is very powerful and ultimately living your full potential. Thank you. This is Annette Stanton. If you have any queries, please feel free to contact me. Bye for now.